Right, question eight. Uh, spell check is a bit of a twist. Change the language setting of the entire document to English South Africa and then perform a spell check and ignore any grammatical errors. So that anyone's spelling errors uh, basically sorted out. Okay, why change it to English South Africa? Well, there are different versions of English, as we know. There's a uh, English from the Eastern Cape. No, uh, there is English from South Africa and there's English from the US, America, which is particularly different, the way they spell things like color without the U in it. Um, and there's also English UK, which is m closer probably to English South Africa. But we generally try and format our documents as English South Africa. Why not? Because we're South Africans and proud to be English South Africa. So change the language setting of the entire document to English South Africa and then perform the spell check. Right. To select all the text, um, if you know the shortcut, uh, which we'll tell you about in a sec, you can do that. Otherwise, you could just simply say select all. Okay, the shortcut as it pops up there is Control and A. Now, that's a shortcut. If you don't know it, it's a shortcut that's well worth remembering because it works in just about every program. If you want to select all the content without having to go page down, page down, page down, or scrolling until you get RSI in your hand from your mouse, um, Select all. It's very nice. Right, and then we need to change the language setting. So I would guess that's under review. And there's the language setting there. Set the proofing language, language preferences. Let's look at language preferences first. No, that's certainly not what I want. Um, it's the proofing language that I want. And I want this to be set to be English South African. Okay. Here we go, English South African. It's going to untick the do not check spelling or grammar. I do want that. So, English South African, it's going to be selected as. And then they want me to proof it. Okay, so I could either just run the spelling and grammar check uh, on the proofing tab or find another shortcut which is F7, the F7 function key. I can run that. Okay, they don't want any grammatical errors. So that's a it's a grammatical error because it's highlighted in green. I'm going to tell it to ignore the rule. It's telling that that's a grammatical error as well. Um, also highlighted in green, so we don't need to correct that. Don't need to correct that. Okay, that's actually a actually a mistake, or the saying it's a possible word choice. Not actually a spelling mistake, but ah, what the heck? It is actually incorrect. So let's change it. Okay, here's our first spelling error. Obviously, this is meant to be karate. Karate. Okay, karate. Change it. And you're not going to be terribly penalized if you get the wrong one, but obviously try and look for the right one. Physiotherapy, thank heavens, is only one suggestion. Primary. Okay, that's obviously needs to be changed. 1950s, we're saying, right, that's just a a grammatical suggestion, add the content to word 2. Okay, that's obviously a document that's got to come in, so I'm going to say ignore that because it's not really a spelling error. And that's it. And that's it for the question.